Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Terratech. Now, last episode, we have been slowly building up in grades. Uh, our GSO grade is now 3, Geotech's at 2, and we just unlocked the Venture, and that's what you're seeing here, the Venture type of bodies uh, for the techs. I've put one together. I'm not a big fan of them. I mean, they're really fast, and... I mean, they're really good. It says like like a racer, and I was like, well, there's not racing in here, but I'm going to try it out for a bit and see what kind of results I get. I'll probably wind up going back to my big Geo Corp tech because it just seems like it's so much better. I mean, this is fast. Uh, don't get me wrong, but I just don't know how effective it is. I do like its guns, though. The uh, Venture guns seem to be pretty cool, and I don't need this guy getting behind me here. Now, good thing is, with the small tech, you're not using nearly as much battery, I'm assuming. So that's one positive, you know, I can get around here and, wow, that's a really, really huge block. I gotta remember where that is. See, my base is just right over there. I'll come back and collect that because I don't think I've ever seen that piece before. It's probably worth quite a bit at least. Uh, I could probably even use it on mine. I don't know if it's better to build with individual blocks on the Geocorps or using one of those big ones would be better. I'll have to see. But I still have tons of these things just in the area. Thankfully, they're not really strong. I uh, just gotta avoid letting them get to me. I mean, they're big, bulky techs, but I just they don't really pose much of a threat. Just need to take care of its cab here. Come on, buddy. And boom. Oh, he's got another one of those batteries. And okay, does he have another cab or the side one? Maybe these side ones are cabs. Trying not to destroy the... Oh, there it goes. I really wanted that geo battery. Now, that kind of sucks. I was trying to avoid destroying that, but don't have much of an option here. And these things keep appearing now. Hmm. That is actually a fairly big one there to the left. I think I might avoid him. He's got some drills on the front. I think he might have some sort of guns on him. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to kind of venture out here, see if we can find another base, because I need to make another outpost. And I don't know if I ventured off in this area that much. Uh, you know, I think I've been out here a couple times. It just looks odd. I don't do much traveling during the day. Normally, I stick around the base during the day, and there's a gang. Hmm. You know, I could be putting myself at a really big risk going after it with the, uh, little venture tech here. I've got plenty of battery life. I guess, you know, let's just go ahead and try I need to figure out how to use the other techs in the game. I need to learn how to utilize them. And with my bubbles here, if I can just stay away from them, I think I'll be okay. That's the uh, big advantage of being able to, like, maneuver around them. So, we might not be in as bad a shape as I think. I, we really need to focus on this left tech. He's the one with all the guns. And I keep an eye on my battery, because as soon as I run out of battery, I need to move. Like, big time. That, I just don't need the, their techs touching me, because I'm assuming once they get within the uh, shield here, that I am vulnerable. So, uh, this actually isn't too bad. Uh, might need to stack some more guns on here. I'm trying to figure out how strong these venture guns are. Uh, they don't, I don't think there's like a stats page. I kind of wish there was. And I've got one of those big cannons on the top. Got a couple GSO guns on it. And yeah, I don't seem to be doing much damage with these guns. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate. I've got a decent selection of guns on here too. I actually might have some of those guns aiming the wrong way on the side here. I guess we're going to keep circling around here now. i got to watch my battery. My batteries are getting kind of low. And I was really hoping to have more damage done by now. I might have to actually come back to this. Uh, this is all really about experimenting with this new tech. And right now, I'm not a fan. I do understand that these are... I think they all have flying parts. I know the GSO does. I don't know about the uh, Geocorp techs. I don't know if there's flying parts for those. Uh, that's one thing I'd like to eventually get into. And where did they go? Why did they go over there? So they're completely ignoring me. I really like to take these out before my battery runs out here, and I can see it blinking. I need to get in here and put some fire down on them and see if we can just take them out, because I know the battery's getting low. Come on. Come on, just destroy them before the batteries go out. Because I, I don't think I'm going to stand a chance against their guns, even though they're using those little guns on there. It's not too bad, but they just have the bigger parts. If I can just take one of them out, even if I lose my battery here, I can just kind of run and gun the other ones. Here we go. Come on. No, I'm not really worried about that one yet. Oh, there he goes. Okay, keep firing here. Uh, this one back here has maybe just one gun left on it. So if I keep moving here, I should be okay. Actually, my guns aren't really getting to him right now. really like to get to the front of him. That's where his cab's setting. And Oh, no, I don't want to get drilled here. There we go. 
Oh, I've got, ooh, I'm running into text here. I need to be careful. That is a huge Geocorp text. Uh, I don't see, you know, after I ran into the first Venture Tech last episode, I played a little bit in between, and I haven't run into any more. I don't know what it is or if this is just the area, but it seems like the Geocorp Techs are definitely the majority of what I see out here. It's kind of strange, actually. But anyways, got that job taken care of. I'm going to actually go dump this tech. I don't, I'm not a fan. Uh, I'll probably strip a couple of the guns off. I'm going to keep the tech itself at the base because I feel like I might eventually be able to use it. But for the time being, it's just kind of useless to me. I'd rather go have my big Geocorp tank and get it and actually complete some of these missions because, I don't know, it's just not a, not a fan. All right, we are ready to go here. I've got everything set up. I've actually got the big Geocorp battery on here. We found that last episode. Had it setting at the base, charging, so... I'm going to kind of experiment and see how long those last. Now, I believe that comes in the next grade for the uh, Geocorp. And I had some people say last episode, like, well, you, you go back to the base a lot for battery charging. You need the wireless packs. And I don't have those yet. I think that's going to be the next GSO grade. So I really would love to have those because it'd make it so much easier than stripping batteries off and sticking new ones on. And... Uh, Here's another one of those random question marks that doesn't actually lead to a mission. I don't know what that means. But anyways, apparently we've got hostiles, so let's go find them. I must have ran into these earlier. Uh, let's go find these, take these out, complete some missions here. I'd like to get up again in Geograde. I don't know how long that's going to take. It's going to take a bit of grinding here. But I'm kind of experimenting, seeing what other missions I run into and what other... I don't want to call them story missions, but you do run into missions where it seems like they progress and they unlock these new parts, like last episode was the SCU storage, which that thing's amazing if you have it, you need to just dump parts off. And I've got to remember that I have access to that at any point, and whoa. Okay, that tech, oh, the side lasers, okay, that's what's all over it. I was seeing this tech over here, you know, if I could only hit his cab, uh, that tech on the left, that's a lot of valuable parts there that I need to, I'd have to come back and salvage. But, I don't know. He, he doesn't seem to be too helpful to his buddy who just got destroyed. Okay. What is he? Oh, is he stuck? I think he's high-centered himself. Okay, come on, just trying to go for the cab here. Ready, boom! That is a lot of parts. I actually really need to come back and get those. Uh, can I place... You know, I don't know if it's a feature. I'd like to be able to place a marker here. I should have brought the black hole storage, the SCU. Man, this is Venture Corp City. I don't get it. They haven't been appearing and all of a sudden they're all here and... Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I'm, I'm aggro with that one. I didn't mean to get that close. And Oh, look at the amount of guns. We need to get him stuck here because this is a... Oh, look at this. We're just stripping off all the parts. Wow. Oh. That was, uh, that was a lot better than I expected. Okay. You know, he's got a lot of valuable guns. Those, uh, those top guns there, a lot of them that he shedded off, those are, like, grade twos on the Venture. Uh, you know, I really... I'm gonna have to cut, sweep back through here and collect a lot of parts. I've got between those and the big Geocorp blocks that we destroyed earlier. Okay, well, you know, those might be a little more doable, so those big ones aren't quite as fast. Still searching for missions, though. Uh, it looks like we've got a pretty good fight here with some GSO Corps. Okay, buddy. That is a very unique looking one. And, oh, he's got some really big cannons on him. Need to definitely... Need to actually not get into range where he can blow me up. And his cab was in a really terrible spot. It was right at the front of it. Uh, he's got some pretty valuable parts here, too. I don't want to stack. Does his battery... I, I'm assuming when they die, they... Yeah, their batteries are already drained. That would be kind of cool if they had some charge left in them. We just put those on instead of having to go back and what is that that is a massive wall of just cannons oh my look at that it's the ultra tank okay let's go ahead and take the ultra tank out his one disadvantage he's got all the, the little cabs just right in the front why would you have that there boom i mean we are just absolutely stacking them up today we got one more over here and what do we want to call this thing now, what is this the rhino it seems like we're in the land of ultra big techs because I'm seeing more huge techs on the horizon. 
Man, I really wish. And, oh, he's got some. He's got some unique parts there. This is like factory parts. We're trying to figure out where his cab is. Look like there's a lot of cabs on him too. Uh, maybe that's his main cab to the side here. Oh no, that's not good. Not good. Got to back off here. Got to back off. I got to find his cab. I need to stay at a safe distance. I think my front's actually in pretty decent shape. There we go. We tipped him over. Uh, I think that's his cab on the bottom. Yep, there it was. Ooh, there is one. A wireless charger. I've absolutely been waiting to find those. Okay. I've got one of those, and of course his batteries are drained. Let's go ahead and carry some of this back to the base. I'm coming back to this area because there's missions out here, and there's a lot of huge tanks, and I think we can get some uh, pretty good challenges out here. Okay, we are back in the land of ultra big techs. So I've brought some storage along with me, so I'll start collecting a lot faster. I should have had this on me earlier. I was thinking I was going to run the uh, uh, salvager out to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and just do it this way, and then I can always go back if I need to sell off parts or uh, use some of these parts. I've got quite a bit in storage, so I don't need to be buying any more parts. I need to start saving some money. And boom. Okay, there's one cab. Where's the other cab? I guess he's got a butt cab. There he goes. Ooh, that's a um, big battery. I need that. So let's go ahead and place that down. And nope, did, did it not plant? There it goes. Let's go ahead and collect this. And we've got a, looks like a base over there. So I'm definitely going to head off to that. And there's a big red circle. I believe that's an invasion. And I don't think I've ever completed one of those before. At least not on camera. So we're going to do that. Let me go ahead and collect these parts. See how long it takes for this to suck these up. Hopefully not very long. There it goes. Oh, that thing is glorious. Absolutely glorious. Love that thing. Let's go ahead and put that back on our rear here. And let's go take over this base. And we're going to go actually do this invasion. We're going to get stuff done this episode. Uh, definitely. Oh, these are some GSO techs. They're kind of small, but uh, those little small ones can be deceiving. Obviously, these are small and not very fast, actually. So there's one down. And the Harvester Mini. Come here, Harvester. We are time, time to die. Uh, no remorse here. Come on. Oh, it's going to keep trying to stay on my rear. It's still fun that they do this. You know, I need to probably install a couple more rear-facing guns because he's obviously going to make this... He's he's just going to prolong this. Like It's like, just give up. That's all you need to do. Just give it up. No escape here. And boom. There we go. I'll uh, plant down my storage here in a second. What is that? You know, I need to keep whatever that piece is. I'm going to bring it over here to the uh, base. The pawn bot, and we're going to get rid of that. And then we're going to go see what is up over there. So, uh, where is the cab? There it is. I'm going to try to do as little damage to this as possible. But I know I'm still going to wind up blowing up half the base. Uh, see if it will just kind of focus in on... Or actually, no, we have it now. Okay, I was kind of waiting. Sometimes those bases actually have, I guess, guns on them. And they want you to somewhat destroy them so let's go ahead and place this down let that soak up and then we're going to go into the red circle there uh, i see a venture tech i believe that's a venture tech it might be a gso i'll have to check can he not can this not grab those parts there it goes uh grab everything just take it all back uh we're definitely i'm gonna have a lot of parts here to build, build this base up i'm kind of glad i don't have to uh spend all that money anymore uh, you need to take all this up. Can it not take... It might not be able to take the cab up. Let me go ahead and just stick the cab to me. Uh, I could use that cab, so let's go ahead and stick this back. Still got a pretty good bit of battery life here. Now, I did bring a solar charger, so I can always stop and find a nice place to camp out and charge. But we're going to go ahead and go in here and see what kind of trouble we're about to get into. And he almost looks like a flying tech, but he isn't quite. He's called Eagle. Uh, he doesn't look like he can get off the ground, but... He's definitely going to be a pain in the butt, and actually, he's kind of getting inside my shield here. I don't I don't like you there, buddy. Ooh, he's got some really cool cannons on top, too, though. I know I want those. Where are your, where's your cab? There's the cab. And boom! You defeated Eagle from Payload Studios. Okay, I guess it was one of their techs. That's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and shove that down. Ooh, that's a GSO. That's that eight-barrel gun. That is an awesome gun. Uh, even though, let's go ahead and shove it there. We'll stick this gun over to the side, and we'll place that over there. My tech really doesn't make that much sense, but, you know, it's always nice having all these little weapons here. Uh, we're definitely doing a lot of collecting here. I'm going to have a lot of uh, sorting to do after this episode. And definitely we're going to do some base building, because I've got some base parts now, and I need to just build a big epic base. And, oh, I missed a couple parts. 
Let's go and plant that down here. Mm, there's something up on the hill. I think that's actually another base. So this area is definitely rich. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. And there's another GSO tech over there. And what else do we got? There's a, another venture tech over there. So I'm going to take the mission on up here because it seems like those are the uh, best way to go here. So we've got that collected. Stick it back to our butt and let's go move to the next mission. Okay, I'm trying to tell. I think that's a GSO base. I don't know if... I haven't seen any other bases besides GSO, so I'm assuming that's what it is up here. We're going to take it out and we're going to establish an outpost out here because I need to get some things charging. And Oh, this is actually a... This is a pretty stacked little... I know, those are... I thought those looked a lot bigger than they were. I was looking at those GSO techs and I thought, oh, you know, I can't see all of it. And then came I kind of came over the hill and I was like, oh, never mind, it's not that bad. Uh, let's go ahead and keep shooting here. Is there three techs or is that two? Maybe I just split one. No, I think there actually was three, so let's destroy those. All the base guardians are down. I don't know. I guess he was just kind of over here, so let's go ahead and take him out. I'm <laughs> seeing those, uh, that eight cannon work. It's the first time I've seen that. Shoots high. It's kind of like a artillery, I think. Go ahead and shoot that. Oh, there you go. You tripped yourself up, buddy. Sorry. And boom. There we go. Let's go ahead and plant this over here, and then I'm going to go check out the base. All right. The outpost is set up, ready to go. I actually found a wireless charge bubble. Uh, I put it in storage because I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with those since there's not that many, but there's the outpost. But yeah, we're going to go out and do a couple more missions here, and let's see, we've got quite a few techs. There's another venture tech, and that's going to be a pain in the butt. Yes, not unless I can get some really, like, quick shots and disable him. He's going to speed around me the whole time. I've actually hurt his butt a little bit, so let's do that. Actually, we're in pretty good shape here. That's just a weird renegade tech, but it's like, I don't know, I guess they're just at random, because you've got some really big techs over here. You figured those would be the... The bigger bosses or the missions but apparently they're not let's go ahead and take out this big boy over here right now I'm just kind of collecting parts and actually no this is the first time I've ever been in the is that the salt flats okay I need to venture around in here uh, it's really nice that I can do that now that I've got an outpost a lot closer I don't have to go back to base yeah, this Geocorp tech doesn't have many useful blocks. It's just really padded. I just need to destroy him. And i got to watch that Venture tech over there. He's just kind of spinning around right now, but I thought he was going to try to sneak up behind me. So let's go ahead and destroy you. I'm going to have plenty of these uh, Geocorp blocks. And does he have another cab? Oh, there it is. It's on the side. I don't need to be destroying. I don't. I would like to salvage some of these parts. Let's go ahead and work on the cab here. And boom. Okay, do that. I'm going to place this down real quick. Uh, and then I'm going to go after the other tech in the area. And then we'll swap out. And there's another mission over here to the right that we can go to. And there's a big stacked tech out there. I'll have to check that out here in a second. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I thought he was going to go after my uh, storage unit. It's like, no, buddy. That's mine. I really, I really need that. And actually, oh, this is going to work out great. He's going to destroy himself right in the area of the uh, storage unit. So... That works great. Let's just go ahead and wait here for a second and uh, pick up all these parts. Actually, I'm going to throw a couple of these over there. I am going to have a backlog of parts. I'll definitely be able to do some really cool stuff soon. Uh, definitely eyeballing a big, big base. I just need need the parts right now. I realized that I was probably spending too much money instead of salvaging parts. I was like, all right, well, let me just buy it all new. And that's not always the uh, best approach. Uh, did that mission disappear? I guess it did. I'm going to venture out in the salt flats here. How do my batteries look? They look okay. Still got plenty of charge here. Yeah, let's go ahead. I'm going to get a couple more parts to pick up here, and then we're going to go out and have ourselves a little adventure in the uh, salt flats. And it looks like this next mission is actually going to be another Renegade Tech, which is funny. It's a little small one here to the left. Now, to the right, that is a GSO. He's a pretty stacked tech. Uh, he's going to have a lot of parts that I'm going to need to salvage off him. But we're going to go ahead and take care of the mission here first. And then we'll move around and try to get to the other things here. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy out. I really like this area because it's so flat. Like, I feel almost like I need to... Uh-oh, what happened here? Okay, I had the game freeze up there for a second. But yeah, I really feel like I need to establish some sort of base out here. Because this area is just perfect for it. And are you coming up on me, buddy? Nope. No, I mean, it's just so flat. 
uh, you can see everywhere, say if you were getting attacked, I mean, you've got plenty of open space, uh, shouldn't be any surprises here, and, oh, don't want you that close to me, let's go ahead and destroy this, uh, bad boy real quick, we're doing really good though right now, uh, we're not losing, you know, I was having some issues there with losing techs, but it seems like we're getting a lot better about not doing that, uh, a little bit smarter on my battery situation, it could be definitely better, but, come on buddy, where's his cab at, he, oh, there it is, it's kind of, kind of tucked away to the side and he's going to do this spinning thing so I'm actually just going to approach him kind of back into him a little bit I actually think my uh, SCU storage was getting getting hit there I just watched it repair itself oh we lost a wheel is that our yeah that was our wheel where did it where was it at I don't even know where it came from this one's a this text kind of a, t a pain here come on buddy there we go I can see his cab it's kind of in a weird spot it's behind his batteries but he's just, he's moving around so much. He's got a ton of wheels on the bottom. How are we on batteries? Yeah, we're going to be good. We just got to continue to play this uh, little game he's playing with us. Because my guns can't quite keep up. There they go. They're starting to get some good shots in now. He's uh, definitely flashing red, so. Oh, that was a mistake, buddy. He stopped there for a second. I need to get my front pointed on him. That's the uh, problem with the Geo tanks here. They're not really... They're not the most agile. I'm pretty sure I can come up with a design that'll make it a little bit more flexible, but right now we are pretty heavy here. But he's obviously he's not doing any damage to us, so that's a good thing. But uh, he's flashing. I just need one of those side panels to pop up, because as soon as he loses some wheels here, he's in trouble. And he is being a pain. Come on, dude. Just give up. There's there's no, no reason to fight. No reason to fight at all. You know what? We're going to just back into him here. There we go. I'm watching my storage unit. I do not want to lose that, so... There we go. What happened? He just kind of stopped there for a second. Alright, he's blowing up. Where is that cab? Oh, it's right there in the back. It is flashing. There he goes. It's it's game over, buddy. Just just stop. Just stop. He's got a lot of batteries and stuff that I'll be able to use. I'm probably going to destroy most of them, but there we go. Let's go ahead and plant that down. Now, we've got another mission out there. I'm trying to see... That's probably another Renegade Tech. I can see it off in the distance, looks pretty big, so definitely have to check that out. There's a couple decent wheels in here, I'm going to throw those back. Uh, I'm going to, I want you guys to kind of tell me what type of tech you want to see, or what kind of tech I should be building here, because I've collected a ton of parts, and I'm ready to build, I mean, I could build another monster tech. Uh, I've been kind of wanting to do almost like a mobile base, but I just haven't had the parts in... What is that? That's like a... That is a monster. I don't know what that is. You know what? We might be... I'll come back for these parts. While I still have a battery charge here. I know there's a mission over there. But I need to investigate what that is. Is that two techs? Or is that one tech? Uh, was he bigger than he appeared? Or is there two of them? Oh my! What is this? What is this tech? Oh! Okay, well, he's going to go with the direct approach here, and we're just going to slowly chip away. Oh, he's got rocket boosters on the back. I want those. I want your boosters. Just destroy. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. I need these parts. No, don't destroy the parts. I need to back off real quick. So, uh, he's kind of showing me his rear here, and I don't want to hit those. I, I'd like to hit his cab, and I don't see his cab. It's the problem. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go for a charge in the front. I can, there it is. I can just chip away here in the front. If I can just get to that cab, I'll be in a uh, good shape here. And come on, cab's almost done. Cab's almost done. And boom, cab is taken care of. Or is he still? Is he still a thing? No, he didn't. Okay. Uh, there's the fuel tanks. And I, I lost most of those parts. That sucks. Uh, I've got some that I could salvage here. It looks like there's a little booster here. Uh, I've got quite a few parts spread out here, and there's another Venture Tech. That was a pretty good haul, though. I'm still happy, and there's another monster out there. We're going to go ahead and take care of that one real quick. Uh, and then probably going to call it quits here. Uh, batteries are getting low, and I don't feel like going to go charge them again. I'm going to have to go back to that outpost, and that's going to take a while. Do I want to do it? Don't want to risk it. This could be the final tech to take out, collect some parts here, and get out of the area, or go back to the outpost, and get back to charging yeah you know what we're gonna do it because 
If this is like the last cab, or like the last tech, he's got the cab. Yep, right there in the front. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. That couldn't have possibly happened at a worse time. Man. Oh, that was almost complete disaster to end it off. We did lose quite a few guns. Uh, thankfully, the tech is behind, or the uh, cab is behind the big battery. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, there's another renegade tech. I'm not even going to be able to take him on. I need to, I need to get back to the outpost. Uh, start charging again. Put some batteries. I lost some batteries there. Looks like I lost maybe. I think I only lost one. Let's go ahead and collect the parts in there. Let me stay out of its way. And then I'm going to go back to the outpost and we're going to wrap this up. Well, it seems like I was uh, under attack here as soon as I got back to the outpost. Of course, I am somewhat paralyzed right now, so let me see if I can just take him out. He's flipped himself over, so uh, no harm, no foul there. Now, there's a couple techs getting fairly close to my base, so I'm going to go back through, start charging these again. I need to try to continue to grind a little bit. I'm going to do that in between episodes. Uh, maybe by the next episode, we'll have some more stuff unlocked. But anyways, guys, uh, like I said, if you see anything that I should be doing, go ahead and feel free to message. Uh, I know I'm still missing some parts. I still have some things to unlock. Uh, luckily, you can find some of the parts that you need out in the wild here. But anyways, that's going to about wrap it up for today's episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to like and subscribe, uh, everything helps my channel. Uh, welcome to my new subs. I've still been getting a lot of subs and we're really close to 40,000. So I'm really excited about that. But anyways, that's going to do it. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.